treat of them all right here, standing with Miss Florida USA 2013. They love you already. Michelle. <laughs> Let me get her last name in at least. Michelle Aguirre. I love that you can say my name like that. I know. We, I thought we'd throw in a little bit of Espanol there, yes, since I know some. I mean, such a surreal moment for you. Yes. In this July, you were crowned Miss Florida USA. What was that feeling like? It was absolutely surreal and really a dream come true. I mean, I slept with my crown and sash that night, and I had to wake up and be like, okay, yeah, this is real. This is happening. And I am just honored to be representing the state of Florida at the Miss USA pageant. And we are honored to have you here. Clearly a beautiful girl. And not only that, what a catch. Listen to this, people. Huge sports fan. Yes. So she's beautiful and a huge sports fan. Uh, let me guess your team's here. My, Miami Hurricanes? Miami Hurricanes. <laughs> You're wearing the perfect attire today. Well, I actually got dressed for you, of course. <laughs> I got to get dressed up for Miss Florida USA. And ironically enough, you live with four brothers. Yes, I have four brothers. And I grew up loving sports, everything from football, basketball, baseball. So I am a huge sports sports fan and I'm so excited to be here at the game. All right, so give us your prediction. Who are you rooting for? Well, I wish both teams the best of luck, but I have to say I'm going for Alabama. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Fighting Irish, but she's going roll tide roll. So we're going to play a little game here and we're going to include some some special guests here. We have, who do we have here? Oh, David Pollack. I, this is just an excuse, right? I, I didn't win any beauty contest, but... <laughs> By the way, I don't even think they heard that she picked Alabama just then. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to keep that. Yeah. We're trying to keep that on the DL. I was, I and was the hoping, Rocket is here. Shine, no. Yes, I am here. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. We're going to play a game called Do You Know? This is what happened. I hit the streets of South Beach, and I asked the fans some football questions. Okay. And what we're going to do is see if you guys can guess if they know the answer to these questions. Sounds good. All okay. Right. That's going to be interesting. Let's Who's playing in the BCS National Championship game? Wow. Seems very like a very nice couple who I asked. Who's playing? Come on, baby. Do you think that couple knew? Just like 88. What you got, Miss Florida? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say no. I didn't see any shirt that gave me any indication that they were a sports fan, so I'm going to say no. Rocket? Jesus, no. And when they were looking at you, I'm going to say no. And the reason why is because they looked at you with uh, who is this crazy look? woman talking to me face. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look that crazy, Rocket? All right, let's reveal. Did they know who's playing in the BCS National Championship game? Who's playing in the BCS National Championship game? Alabama and Notre Dame. Notre Dame. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Looks like I'm not so crazy. Hold on, what are, you, what are you talking about? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, yes. Oh, no. Come on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking, I'm taking your mic. Okay, switch? All right, sweet. <laughs> All right, let's roll the next one. Name three players on Alabama's team. Name three players on Alabama's team. I mean, she, she's rocking the Alabama gear. What do you guys think? Yeah. Oh, she definitely got that right. Think so? What do you think? I'm going to still say with a yes. I, she has some Alabama gear on, so. There's got to be some kind of trick to this. I'm saying no. Okay, Paul. It can't be that easy where they're wearing Alabama and they're going to know three points. Pollock's not buying no. into it. Pollock's saying no. All right, let's 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 reveal. Not Did she know? It. Three players on Alabama's team. Help me out here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, you can't solicit help from your husband. She has to know. Absolutely not. All right, well, she sort of Come cheated, on. right? AJ McCarron. A little bit. Sorta isn't all the way, so still give her credit. Here's okay. how I feel. If you're going to rock Bama gear, you have to at least be able to name him. Right, Dave? Come on, Davey. That's absolutely If you want to root for the team, I mean, I, I would hope that you would know at least three team members, no. you know? In this economy, if you're going to spend the money to come and come <laughs> exactly. to South Beach, you better know some players on the team. Yeah. Nah, she just coming to party. Okay. She don't have to know nobody. She just have to know a couple of select companies that are going to help her party. Just... All right. We've got one more. It's it's time for you to redeem yourself, David Pollock. Let's, let's roll the next one. Who won the Heisman this year? Who won the Heisman this year? These were... Fighting Irish fans, let's see if they know who won the Heisman. Will they know it? What do you guys think? That's absolutely yes. Our man was on in the running contention. Man, Titeo, they know that. 
This guy's screaming. He knows. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. What do you think? I think yes. I, they were all decked out in some Irish gear, so I'm going to go with yes again. Davey, what do you think? Very much a contrarian, so I, I will say no just because Ooh. I don't. There's They're just devil's wrong advocate. Move, David, there's, wrong move. there's four of them, for goodness sakes. At least one of those guys have to know the answer. That's what I'm saying, but you're sticking with no? You're saying no, you got to flip that. No, He's saying no. Oh, my God. Let's find out. Who won the Heisman this year? Johnny Football. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Manziel. Manziel. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Johnny Football, the Fighting Irish know what's up. The Fighting Irish know what's going on here. Johnny Football. Face, David. Okay. Now, Davey, I'm feeling so bad for you because you're getting everything wrong. We'll, we'll, we'll throw in a bonus in there, okay? <laughs> Fine, we'll give you one. Here's the bonus one. Bonus round for the gold and the glory. Let's roll it. Do you know who David Pollock is? Do you know where David Pollock played college football? <laughs> Did he know where David Pollock played college football? What do you think, Rock? Oh, he don't have a clue. He don't know nothing. I'm going with no. Miss Florida doesn't have a clue, so she knows. <laughs> oh, no. We're getting no's across the board. Let's reveal. Do you know who David Pollock is? Do you know where David Pollock played college football? Notre Dame. Yes. <laughs> I look a lot like Manchester. Yeah, did, did David Pollock play college football for Notre Dame? I think not. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the Irish, the Irish are going crazy. Speaking of Let's Go Irish, the Rocket is here, clearly, MD alum. Uh, still three for this game. I'm sorry. Oh, so how happy are you for this game? Obviously, you're, you're pulling for the Irish. It feels awesome being here. It's been a long time coming. It's been a great reunion weekend meeting all the old guys from the 88 team. And we're looking forward to a new era starting in the stadium tonight at 8. That's a beautiful thing. And your wife is working on a book. Tell us a little bit about that. My wife has a book. It's called The Freedom of Letting Go. You can get it on, on iTunes. And you can go to Amazon.com, The Freedom of Letting Go by Melania Ismail. A wonderful book about overcoming fear and anxiety. Check it out. You'll love it. Thank you so much, Rock. A big thank you to Miss Florida USA, who I'm crowning the winner of the game because you're already wearing a crown, and she's beautiful. All right. Back to you, Dari. <laughs>